Time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to just not turn ourselves off at night? We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep. Let's go party. Ah, you scared me. Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute. Are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI123456999999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back! Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm going to need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet! Alright everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hands? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Happy birthday! Wow! A gummy bear! Thank you! There's one more gift for you. Who's it from? There was no name. It's blank. Happy birthday! Thank you! Now there's one more gift. Another card. Does it say who it's from? It doesn't say anything. It's another blank card. Happy sweet 16! Thank you. Let me guess. Another blank card? Yes. It's the same one as always. Who would do that? Every single year. Happy birthday! Ooh, you got a card? Who's it from? I don't know. Every year on my birthday since I was 10, I've received a blank card in the mail. That's kind of creepy. Wait a minute. White ink. There's something written in this card. White ink. These cards aren't blank. There's something written in them. 
My papa reads encrypted messages for a living. We can take the cards to him and find out what they say. What do you have for me? This is the first card I received when I was 10. Ah, uh, yes. Find me where the flowers grow. I'm in the garden down below. That doesn't make sense. What is it, some kind of riddle? Maybe we'll understand if we read all the cards. This is the second card. X, Y, Z, X, B. That is the key to set me free. Do you have a pencil? Here. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. It must be some kind of code. This is the third card. The place I am you have in your memory. We used to play there before you were stolen from me. Wait a minute. I know the place. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Aren't you going to school? I'm trying. What in the world? Hmm. Play. Here's the exam. It should take you about three hours to complete it. No, if only I could fast forward it. Oh, wait. I can. I got my exam. That's impossible. That only took you 1.2 seconds. Yeah, I'm just super smart. Hmm, let's try the up button. Oh, oh, oh. I can fly. Wow, that is so crazy. There's just one more I haven't tried. Pause. Pause. Help! Help! I'm paused, I can't move. You seem fine, you're still talking. Yeah, but my body can't move. Whoa, why did controls just appear above your head? Oh, you can see them? Okay, press play for me. And why should I? Please. I don't know if a please is good enough. Pretty please? All right, play. <sighs> Brianna, hurry, you're gonna miss the bus. Oh, don't worry, I'll just run home. Run home? Your house is a two-hour walk from here. It's okay, I'll just fast-forward myself. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I'm home. That was quick, school just ended. I know, I ran really fast. Good morning, Mom, I'm off to school. What the? You are such a loser. Why do you even exist? Yeah, get out of this school, loser. Is everything okay? You look upset. Yeah, it's just my soulmate's getting bullied. You failed your math test again? You are a disgrace to this family. Go to your room. I don't even want to see your face. Oh, he is not having a good day today. Are you ready to go yet? Hey, I'm so sorry, but I've been cheating on you this whole relationship with your best friend, and I'm leaving you for him. Yikes, that one's gotta hurt. And then I was like, I have your coffee, ladies. Whoa, whoa. My new shoes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I am too, idiot. That was a little harsh. What am I gonna do? My shoes are ruined. You spilled coffee on a customer's shoe? That's it. I'm not giving you any more chances. You're fired. Hey, I just wanted to let you know the coffee bean spilled on my shoes was no big deal. Don't worry about it. I already fired him. No, he doesn't need to be fired. It's too late. It's already done. Wait, don't go. Go away. It's your fault I got fired. My fault? It's not my fault you spilled coffee all over me. Just leave me alone. Fine. You're such a jerk. I can't believe you lost your job. Get out of this house. I never want to see you here again. What? His family's kicking him out. Do you even know where he lives? He lives nearby this coffee shop. I'm sure of it. He was walking home from here when he got fired. There he is. I heard you got kicked out. Don't worry. You can stay with me. I don't even know you. And how do you know that? I can hear what you hear. How is that even possible? I'm your soulmate. You found your soulmate? I'm so jealous. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, I've missed you so much. Mwah. Who is she? Who? He's talking to a girl. And she's British. You should just ask him about her. No, I need to see how this plays out. Jonathan, do you think after we're finished class, we could go get some lunch together? They're going on a date. He's cheating on me. Jonathan, you look so handsome in that new coat. Stop flirting with my man. You really just need to go and talk to him about this. Yeah, you're right. They are so done for. That's not what I meant. Get away from my man. Brianna, it's so nice to meet you. Quit the chit chat. I heard you flirting with my soulmate. Brianna, that's my cousin. She's visiting from England. Oh, I got a choice. Crush like you back or better choice? No, you know what? Maybe we're just not meant to be together. Get into Harvard?
That's the school of my dreams. This better give me something great. A billion dollars? You know what? No, I have to choose a better option. Maybe I'll get two billion dollars. Magic beans? Whoa, they must be super magical if they're better than a billion dollars. I have to try it. Did you make a choice yet? Yeah, I chose magic beans, but I'm not sure when I'll get them. Well, I'm sure they'll show up at some point. Yeah. <laughs> My beans! All right, let's try one. Purple. Oh my gosh. Who are you? I'm a genie. I can grant you three wishes. Whoa. So these beans give me a genie? Not exactly. Each different color is associated with a different supernatural being which you can use. You chose me, which is a genie. Whoa. Do you know your first wish? No, I need time to think. I don't want to waste any of my wishes. I'm parched. I need a drink. Here you go. Thanks. No, that wasn't a wish! Have you decided your next wish? No, I don't know yet. Just give me some time! That wasn't a wish! What is your last wish? Last wish? I haven't even gotten one wish. You know what? I wish for more wishes. I can't do that. That's against the law. Well, I haven't decided yet, so just leave me alone. And she's gone. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile. Congrats, Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> Oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Want to come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet, I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay, we dare you to kiss Peter. Oh! oh it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so into him. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. 
And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're gonna go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's 